morning. Welcome everyone to the first day of Gamescom 2015. The doors have just opened here at the biggest gaming show in the world. Thanks for being here with us right here in EA's booth. I mean, look at this place. This is where it's all going to be happening over the next five days. We're surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of game stations. Players will be getting their hands on Need for Speed, FIFA 16, and Mirror's Edge Catalyst. PVZ and Unravel are here too, and of course, Star Wars Battlefront, with three different modes to play this week. We have awesome new stuff to share on all of these, plus a few more things in today's show. I've got to tell you, we love being here each August because Gamescom is where game makers like us come together with passionate fans from all over the world who live to play. Play brings out the best in all of us. Play is about inspiration, competition, escape. And most of all, play is about having fun. So let's jump into it and look at some seriously cool cars. Let me welcome Marcus Nielsen on stage. He's here to share the latest on Need for Speed. Thanks, Andrew. So I was thinking, we're going to start this off with something a little bit different this year. Over the past few months, we've learned that you are loving the new customization in the new Need for Speed. It is all about expressing yourself and building and customizing your ride. So we're going to try to celebrate that as long and then also have a little bit of fun. This week, during Gamescom, we want you all to help to create the perfect Need for Speed car. Here's the deal. Go to at Need for Speed on Twitter, choose between one of two classic Porsche's 911s, then pick, pick the rims, the wing, the body kit, and even the wrap. But that is just the start. We are going to build this car in real life that's right, in real life, with our build icon, Nakai-san. And we're going to reveal this car at SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas in November. And if you participate, you'll have a chance to win a ride along in that car in Vegas that you helped create it. So with that, let's shift gears and meet the stars of the game, the icons of Need for Speed. I knew what I wanted. But then when I got the car, then it, it changed everything. You throw caution in the wind, you just go for it. Once I'm behind the wheel, literally nothing else matters. You know, you push yourself to the limit and beyond. For me, style is just a part of life. And you either do it or you don't do it. But there's nothing else like that feeling of being able to control a car. You can't really get much better than this. These spots would be empty for all night, so we'd literally just hang out there and start zigzagging through side streets. And I found an open garage, and I pulled into someone's garage. It was, it was I couldn't believe I got away with it. It's some amazing things. I can't feel it anywhere else in my life. We've all got a need for speed. This November... This November, Need for Speed returns. We're bringing 20 years of history together to create the definitive Need for Speed experience. On your journey to become the ultimate icon, you carve your own path through five ways to play. Speed, style, build, crew, and outlaw. Each of which is inspired by the stars of today's urban car culture. Magnus Walker, Ken Block, Nakai-san, Risky Devil, and Morohoshi-san. These guys are the real automotive icons who express themselves on the streets every day. These are the heroes who define what this game stands for, and we are honored to work with them. But to create the definitive Need for Speed experience, we needed not only to reach back into our history, but to, to look to the future. To create something that looks and feels like nothing that preceded it. Something deeply emotional that pushes the boundaries of technology. Something that makes the game personal and with a powerful story. And today we're gonna show you that. 
we are adding real-time composting to Frostbite. So for the first time ever, we're blending live action seamlessly with your in-game car and garage. All the scenes that you see are filmed in real life as you express your, as you play yourself and witness the action from your own point of view. And your journey will be filled with characters calling and sending you messages, enticing you into the five ways to play. These moments will pull you through the game and present you with choices that determine your path. The characters are your gateway to the story and they will help you become the ultimate icon. Here's two of them, Spike and Manu. Again with the block, man. Who needs for days, son? Dude's got some crazy videos. Jim Connor tubes have over 100 million hits. It's like, it's like watching an action movie set this real, you know? Man who lives for driving with style, sliding his car around corners, jumping and tearing it up. And he is all about impressing Ken Block. And if you choose, he can help you to master your, your driving to get his attention. We gonna recreate Ken's run, move for move. So Man who challenged us to recreate Ken's style run, move for move, but in one take. You need to have some serious car control to pull those sort of moves off and earn Ken recognition. But if you do so, you'll impress Ken Block. But do you have what it takes to become the master of style? It is all up to you how your journey plays out. Continue to look to impress Ken Block or shift focus to one of the other icons. The choice is yours. So that showed you a taste of one of the immersive storylines you'll have within the style. However, there are four other ways to play. Maybe your aim is to enhance your reputation through adrenaline-fueled driving, just like Magnus Walker does. Or you might be more focused on creating that perfect customized ride, something that would impress even the great Nakai Sun. You can choose to get to grips with driving as a crew with precise movement and drift wild trains, and that's where Risky Devil comes in. Or maybe you want to risk it all, mess and escape from the cops, and if you do, you will grab the attention of the infamous Morohoshi-san. Every turn in the game will determine your unique path. Find out in November if you can become the ultimate icon. And now, let me end this on the new spectacular Need for Speed trailer. Thank you. There are some top grade talent in town who's ready to make history. But this is the next level. Go on, take it and learn. Magnus Walker's in town. And we smashed that legendary run of his and they'll have to come back at us. Check this. I saw you guys doing some fast runs out there. It was real impressive. You know about Ken Block, right? I won't let you for days, son. We gonna recreate Ken's run move for move. Travis mentioned you worked a couple cars yourself. That's cool. Use whatever tool you want. I want it ready for Nakai San to see before he leaves the city. I'm talking stupid power. What kind of crew are you running with these days, huh? They call themselves Risky Devil. Seen your moves. Killing it. Everybody loves an outlaw. Someone fighting against the system. So you gotta ask yourself, are you the kind of driver who's in for the rush? Catalyst, we are creating an experience that is truly different, starting with a perspective. First person and adrenaline go hand in hand. We see it in the real world with athletes strapping cameras onto the head to immerse you in their experience. But just as important is giving you the freedom to explore, to play the game your way, to go where you want to go and to do what you want to do. And at the center of everything, a hero who doesn't feel like any other character you've played before. Of course, I'm a little bit biased. I love this girl. Faith is unique because she doesn't need any guns or superpowers. Instead, it's about the environment and your momentum during movement and combat. And it makes it incredibly fun to play as her. Faith is also unique because she is willing to take a stand when so many others won't to rise and take action when others can't. But she wasn't always this way. Faith starts the game a carefree runner, daring and sometimes reckless. 
She lives off the grid and doesn't have any sympathy for those who are going through the motions of the city below. And in Mirror's Edge Catalyst, you will experience her transformation. You will grow with her and become the hero that the city needs. And today, we're going to debut footage from a mission early in the game. And you're going to see gameplay from a variety of free roaming in the city, collectibles, environmental puzzles, combat and infiltration. But most importantly, this is the moment in our story that sparks Faith's journey. This is where everything changes for Faith, the runners and the city. And now, let's get you immersed into the Mirror's Edge experience. Thank you. Myself useful, huh? Where do I go? You need to make your way to the Agricultural Division at Elysium. Keysight guards hassling an employee. What are they after? There's a lot of Kruger site chatter about some runner they need to subdue. Avoid the VTOLs and don't get into any scraps. Elysium is one of the taller buildings. You should see their logo on the side. I see it. Something doesn't feel right. I'm here. Got it. Be careful, Faith. Don't worry, Noah. I got this. I need the script. It's not like I can stop you anyway. Icarus, keep us updated on any changes outside. someone else here. Not a runner. I don't like this, Faith. You should get out of there. Sorry. I'm checking it out. Of course you are. There's a whole different set of labs here. This isn't agricultural research. What are they up to? Faith, you don't have to do this. I'm finishing this, Noah. I'll be fine.
not supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm excited to be here at Gamescom to celebrate Star Wars. I was a part of the Bioware team that built the original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. That was an amazing experience. So it means a lot to be here today introducing the next epic adventure in Star Wars The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire. In Fallen Empire, your character becomes the Outlander, a veteran of the Galactic War. You make life and death decisions, choose your path down the light or dark side of the force, recruit companions as your allies, and change destinies, including your own. The power is in your hands. And this is just the beginning. Knights of the Fallen Empire includes the first nine chapters of a massive evolving story that continues past launch in an episodic format. The story is a new start for everyone. If you've played before, you can continue the legacy of your existing character. But if you're new to the game, you can jump right in. Best of all, when it launches on October 27th, Knights of the Fallen Empire will be free to all subscribers. But first, we've got something cool to tell you about that celebrates all of you and this week's events at Gamescom. If you join as a subscriber to the Old Republic during Gamescom, you'll get this guy, Nico Okar, a legendary gunslinger who will always have your back. Don't make him wait. Knights of the Fallen Empire is the return to Bioware's storytelling roots. It is epic and it is personal. Now, I'm excited to give you a first in-game look at The Outlander. Thank you, and may the Force be with you. You come all this way. What do you want? I want you to answer for your crimes. I am a veteran of the Great Galactic War. I've carried many titles into combat. Only one matters now. Outlander. Outlander, surrender! The Empire and Republic have all but fallen. You're our last hope. You want to fight? I'm ready. You do not have to stand against me. Instead, I will share all of this with you, if you will only kneel.
I love that video because that's what The Sims is all about, empowering you to play with life. Your Sims can do all the things you like to do, or all the things you wish you could do, or maybe try out those things you shouldn't do. It's all up to you. You rule. And we're going to keep giving you more life to play with. Since we launched last year, The Sims 4 has been getting bigger and better every month. Here's just a taste. In November, it was time for your Sims to splash around and have a pool party. We invited your Sims to an outdoor retreat in January with campfires and bear costumes. April was all about getting to work. You go, girl. The world of Newcrest arrived in May for you to fill with your creations. Last month, we treated your Sims to a spa day and some love in the hot tub. That's just a few of the new things we've introduced in the past year. And we're going to keep on growing The Sims 4 and giving you more ways to play with life every month. Now here's something big for later this year. I'm excited to announce The Sims 4 Get Together Expansion Pack coming this November. Now we all know that our lives are better and way more fun with our friends. This is my Sim, and she's with her friends. And now her life and the lives of your Sims can be more fun too, as they hang out with their friends in Windenburg, a new world that's a wonderful blend of European modern culture and historical style. It's a world full of cool hotspots and fun new experiences for your Sims and their friends to discover together. See, my Sim is having a great time dancing. So let's check out some Sims now as they live it up in Get Together. Wherever it's going, I'm gonna chase it. What's left of this moment, I'm not gonna waste it. Stranded it together, I want to collide it. This won't be forever, so I try to fight it. We're beautiful now. So that's Get Together, our new expansion pack for The Sims 4. The Sims lets you rule. And you know what? I want to have my you rule moment right now. Let's turn this press conference into a party. That was awesome. I kind of feel like dancing, but I won't. Zombies that fire fish guts from a dolphin blaster. Or how about plants that heal their teammates with a rainbow beam? Now, crazy fun like that is what Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare is all about. And it's about to get even crazier with Garden Warfare 2. We flipped the script, and the zombies have taken over. For the first time, the plants are on the attack, and each side has enrolled new heroes to join the battle. Now, at E3, we introduced you to three all-new zombie character classes. We had Captain Deadbeard, the crusty pirate zombie who's been adrift for hundreds of years. We have Superbrains, the 
genetically engineered superhero zombie with amazing hair, and the unpredictable imp with his all-powerful Z-Mech. Now today, I would like to formally introduce you to our three all-new plant classes. First, Rose, an all-powerful sorceress who can cast spells, trapping zombies in time snare bubbles, and even turn them into goats. Exactly. This is Colonel Corn. Now he can call in buttery popcorn air support while mowing down the enemy with his cob busters. And finally, Citron, a bounty hunting orange from the future, called to fight the zombies with his laser cannon and his EM peach. But we're not just shaking things up with new characters. Since the first Garden Warfare, our fans have been telling us that they want solo play. And we heard you loud and clear. Now, since the first Garden Warfare, in Garden Warfare 2, not only can you play every game mode by yourself or with friends against the AI, but we're going to take it one step further with the Backyard Battleground, a dynamic hub unlike anything that you've seen in PvZ before. The Backyard, the backyard Battleground is where you start every game. It's a living playground with so much to do and discover before you ever get into any modes or maps. You can take on daily quests and challenges. You can even interact with your favorite PvZ characters. Complete missions for Crazy Dave or Dr. Zomboss to uncover the Garden Warfare 2 story. You can even invite up to three friends into your hub to ignite battles all your own. Now, when you're ready to get into a game mode, your entire group can hop into a warp gate and transport as a party, making it even easier and more fun to play the game with friends. Now, Backyard Battleground introduces an entirely new way to experience Garden Warfare in the PvZ universe. But speaking of universes, get ready for two awesome worlds to collide next year. Garden Warfare is known for spoofing games that we love. And one of my all-time favorite spoofs was Grass Effect. So, so we had a thought. What if we could turn Grass Effect into more than a spoof? And what if we could partner with our friends at BioWare to bring the amazing intergalactic technology of Mass Effect into the crazy over-the-top world of Plants vs. Zombies? I mean, Dr. Zomboss loves technology, right? Interlocking ceramic plate armor, an extremely handy Zomni tool, and a factory-installed toaster oven. This is the amazing Grass Effect Z7 mech combining the look and feel of Mass Effect with the humor of PvZ. Now, Dr. Zomboss is obviously very excited. Um, I may be the most excited. Mass Effect is one of my all-time favorite games, and I can tell you right now, I'm going to have some fun running through Garden Warfare 2 in this amazing new character. Now, anyone who pre-orders Garden Warfare 2 will get their hands on their very own Z7 mech at launch. This game taps into the heart of who we are as a studio to deliver the most fun, crazy, and over-the-top shooter experience that we possibly can. And it's coming to you in spring 2016. And now I'm going to leave you with the first look at gameplay from a brand new map. Garden Warfare is going to space. Our plant heroes are on the moon attempting to stop Dr. Zomboss from creating a permanent solar eclipse with a giant magnet. I assure you, it's just as fun and weird as it sounds. So thank you, and please enjoy.
As both a game player and a game maker, I believe that amazing games all share three things. Creativity, innovation, and passion. That's what goes into the games you're seeing here today. Eight awesome games built on world-class technology and shaped by the conversations we have with all of you. Now, making a truly amazing game also means you have to take risks. Inside our studios today, our teams are exploring dozens of new ideas in pursuit of the next amazing thing. What you're seeing here behind me is a peek behind the curtain. Concepts that in many cases are very early in development. New ideas that may or may not ever play out. This is a small taste, just a few examples of how our teams are combining creativity, passion, innovation, and taking risks in pursuit of delivering amazing new experiences to all of you. Sometimes the biggest step is to go small. That's what we did with our next game, Unravel. Hello, everyone. Hey, it's us again. Uh, Hi. Uh, last time I was up on stage talking about Unravel, it was, it was kind of a huge moment for me and, and for all of us at Coldwood. And you guys, you just, you just overwhelmed us with all of your kind words about my story and about Unravel and, of course, about Yarni. And I couldn't have hoped for a better reception. The way you all embraced it, it, it was heartwarming. I mean, <laughs> you even made art. <laughs> it, was, it was just so cool to see all the drawings you guys made and, and all the photos of your own Yarny dolls. And we were stunned by how quickly you all responded and thrilled to see how your rep cre creations represented your understanding of Yarny and Unravel. And by all means, please keep that stuff coming because we really love seeing your creativity and your personality. But there is more to this too. At E3, I mentioned that I think that video games can be really powerful things. And without going into too much detail, let me just say that you guys, you have proven that many times over. You proved that games really can move people, and they can reach people's hearts. And they can actually do some proper good, and not just this escapism. And I am incredibly grateful that I got to experience all this that I got to have a part in creating something that people actually connect with. So thank you for that. And <laughs> now we'd like to show you some more of what Yarni can do. And to help me do so, here's my friend Brian Austin to demo for us. And this is pre-alpha gameplay, and I know that all developers say that, but we really mean it, so bear with us, because this is early. So We're going to show you a level called the sea today. And like all the environments in Unravel, it's based on northern Sweden, uh, our home. It's inspired by happy, sunny memories of going to the coast, both as a child and as a parent. Unravel is a game about reaching out, about mending broken bonds. And Yarny has to make it to the end of the game without running out of yarn. And you can find more yarn in the levels, like Brian just did. Uh, sometimes that can be hidden or hard to reach. You have to be a bit careful here so you don't get washed away by the waves. You could use that boat fender up there to float on, but you have to find a way to get up there. And by tying two knots on your yarn, you can create a bridge and then use that as a slingshot. Oh, no, Brian. We joked about this before. Now he's famous for being the one who killed Yarny. <laughs> but actually, it's actually pretty good that he did that, because then I can talk a bit about that, because Unravel is also a game about not giving up, about pushing on, even though things might seem a bit hard, because sometimes life will throw you a curveball, but you persevere, and you go on, and you just you make it right. So let's have another try.
That's good. As you can see, the gameplay is all physics based. It's got a few touches of magic here and there, but it's all grounded in realism. What you do and how you tackle problems is really up to you and your creativity. When things get more difficult, you'll have to think of different ways to combine Yarny's abilities or use things in the environment to find the way forward. Okay, this looks like a dead end, so <laughs> hurry up and climb back out. Okay, what do you think Yarny should do here? I'll give you a hint. We're going to have to use that fender again. But getting over to the other side is going to require a bit of work. Hurry up, right? <laughs> you can build another rope bridge to get the fender out of the water, because those things, they can carry objects as well. Oh no, get on it. <laughs> nice one. And now that you've done that, you can build another bridge and push the fender over to the other side. And now that you've got your little raft in place, you can cross the water safely. <laughs> well, fairly safe anyway. As you can see, the gameplay is all about overcoming obstacles, about using yarn and the environment to find the path forward. But there are many other kinds of moments beyond the obstacles. Moments of reflection, of wonder, of beauty and discovery. With Unravel. <laughs> With Unravel, we want to capture your imagination and test your cleverness and hopefully touch your hearts. And we hope you enjoy taking Yarny on this grand adventure on PS4 and Xbox One and on PC. And for those of you here at Gamescom, please come by the show floor to play the game and, and say hi if you get the chance. So thank you again. And thanks, Brian. Star Wars has given us a lifetime of unforgettable memories, epic battles, iconic characters, weapons and vehicles that spark the imagination. With Star Wars Battlefront, we will give you the thrill of living out your Star Wars battle fantasies in a game that has depth, variety, and is above all, fun. Fighting for survival alongside a friend on Tatooine stepping into the boots of an Imperial soldier and crushing rebel scum on Hoth. Or just living out the ultimate Star Wars fantasy and becoming one of the most iconic characters in the Star Wars universe. With Battlefront, we don't want you to just play out the fantasies you've always had. We want you to create new moments you've never even imagined. And today, we are unveiling Fighter Squadron a brand new 20-player multiplayer mode inspired by the thrilling aerial combat scenes from the films. Now, let's take to the sky. Here's the world premiere of Fighter Squadron in Star Wars Battlefront. Attempting to escape. Find the target and take it out. 
Okay, Red Squadron. Stay in attack formation. We have eyes on the Imperial transport. The Rebels cannot be allowed to intercept this transport. Insurance extraction. Affirmative. I'm going in. Show no mercy. Pushing them back! Locking on! Great shot! I've been hit! Behind you! Shake him off! Do not relent! Show them the power of the Empire! Didn't see that coming, huh? Gold Leader has arrived! Gold Leader, we're outnumbered! Never tell me the odds! Imperial transport is vulnerable. Take it out. Thank you. Fighter Squadron puts you inside the cockpit of some of the most iconic vehicles ever seen in the Star Wars galaxy. X-Wings, A-Wings, TIE Fighters, and Interceptors, and of course, the Millennium Falcon. These fast-paced aerial battles will take you from the highest altitudes above each planet all the way down to frantic chases through dangerous terrain. And to make things even more epic, there will be an additional 20 AI starfighters in, in the skies, adding even more excitement to the battle. All of this combines to deliver the most intense Star Wars dogfights ever in a video game. And for those of you here at Gamescom, you'll be able to play Fighter Squadron this week for the very first time. You also saw all of the action taking place on Sullust, a previously unexplored planet in the Star Wars universe. Working closely with Lucasfilm, our team at DICE have been given the privilege of creating the visual identity for Sullust. As huge Star Wars fans, I can't tell you how honored our team is to know that you will get your first true look at Sullust in Star Wars Battlefront. And not only does it look exciting, the gameplay is action-packed. From intense dogfights to epic ground battles, Sullust provides a number of great locations, including lava-filled landscapes and the hangars where the Empire builds and houses their war machines. We have a lot left to show you before Star Wars Battlefront launches this November, including new modes, maps, characters, and more. Until then, here's another look at just some of the Star Wars battle fantasies that await you. Thank you. Amazing did that look. Anyway, hello. It's great to be back at Gamescom again. If there's one thing that us football fans know is, is that we all love a bit of banter. Passionate debate about who's the best, where they should play, and who they should play with. And that's why we created this, Foot Draft. Here we go, Foot Draft. Whoa, you give you the control? I'm on this. You can put your input in, you can have your opinion. 
So 4-3-3, best team in the world player, Barcelona. I'll go, for it. Go, go, I'll go for it, go on. You convinced me. Big decision, let's choose a captain. It's got to be Messi. Well, I'm going to give you the force a shout. Go on then. Where's, where's the shout coming from? No way, Messi. Thanks for that. I'll let you have a little bit of input at left back because you played there a few times badly. <laughs> March yellow, I think. Yeah, executive decision, Alaba. Boom. Let's pick our first centre back. I'd have a look at Mascherano. I think he's won. Of course, you played with him, didn't you? I look at Varane and his pace is far in excess of Mascherano. I've picked the two full backs. I'm going to complete the back four. I'm going for Varane. So you want central midfield. We need a balance. Yeah. I, I, Who are you going for there? Might, this might shock you. I'm going to go Kagawa. How can you pick Kagawa over De Bruyne? I made the decision. I'm going Kagawa. Oh my God, what's the point? Go on this one. Your mate's in there. Yeah, well, he's in. He's got to play. He's got to be in Steven Gerrard. Debatable. Not debatable. Look, look at Oscar's dribbling stats. 85. Stevie, 75. Emotion. Take emotion out of it. I have. Right, you haven't. How can you not pick Steven Gerrard? He's got to be in the team. Greatest player for our club. It's biased and it comes from Manchester I United. Calm down. I can't even understand the word you're saying. Give us it, he's in. Steven Gerrard's playing. Hey, 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 you've had your pick, give it us back. Right, centre forward, we've only got one. Let's look at these in detail, analyse them, all the stats, make sure we get it right. Oh, I've had enough of your analysis, Gary, honest to God. Hang on, do it with your eyes closed. Are <laughs> 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 <Did> you still <laughs> open? <laughs> to be fair, Harry Kane, I'd have probably gone with that anyway. Come on, let's look at the subs. Auto complete. Auto complete. <laughs> <laughs> we've picked our team. I'm just a little bit worried about the team chemistry. You don't have to like each other to do well together. OK, let's get the team on the pitch. Come on, get on with it. Come on, let's go. Oh, where am I? Which one am I? I'm in, I'm don't in, forget I'm me in the middle, don't forget me in the middle. Don't forget me in the middle. Did you pass? You've lost the ball again. <laughs> You're <laughs> awful. What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> Harry Kane? Come on, Griezmann's in. Come on, run him away. Run him away. Come on, bro, you're off that bench. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes, we're in! Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me! No, I'm blue! Yeah, look, I'm blue! He's on the keeper. Oh! Go on! Oh! That's it! Oh! Oh! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Calm down, Gary. So I can tell you that every time that we play Fuck Draft back in the studio, that's exactly the kind of banter we hear. And fans have been asking us for a new Fuck experience for some time, and, and this is it. Um, and the best thing is that all of the rewards that you earn from within Ultimate Team Draft will actually go towards improving your core uh, Ultimate Team Club. So let's check it out again. What you have to do is enter into the game mode. You'll select one of the five suggested formations, a team captain, and then you need to select one of five suggested players for each of the uh, positions on the pitch. Basically, do you go for the best player or do you try to build the best chemistry? Uh, you'll take your team online uh, for exclusive high reward competitions and try to win four in a row for the best uh, possible rewards that you can get. And obviously the reason I love it is one, you get to play with the best players straight away. You also earn fantastic rewards and make great progress. Okay, so on to new ways to play. We're also bringing two of the most requested fan features to career mode this year. First, pre-season tournaments will help you grow your transfer budget and prepare your team ahead of the season. And you'll be able to choose from three of nine tournaments ahead of each season each year. Secondly, uh, player training, which gives your youth players a fantastic opportunity to develop and also your first team to enhance specific attributes as they're training within the game. You'll be able to select from more than 30 drills and put your squad through their paces. There's lots happening in career mode this year, including fundamental improvements across transfers and scouting, both of which are going to bring you closer to the life of a manager and as a player. Now, other new ways to play. This year, as we announced earlier, we're including 12 national women's teams within the game this year, including the World Cup champions, the United States of America, and your very own German national team. And fantastic news, they're both playable here on the show floor this year. Now, to the heart of gameplay, uh, we're innovating across the entire pitch, starting with your last line of defense. Keepers, more athletic when you save animations and also better positioning. And FIFA 16 gives you confidence in defending. 
defensive agility now means that the uh, attackers and defenders create a better balanced game, and we're revolutionizing the way you control the midfield. Smarter players are better positioned to intercept passes. And we're also balancing the passing game with a new feature. Passing with purpose lets you move the ball with pace and precision to find teammates. And in the final third, moments of magic. This year with no-touch dribbling, it's a new way to feint and change direction. You'll be able to make your opponents pay with better goals and, of course, lots of new celebrations. FIFA 16 is a balanced, beautiful football game. And the sights and sounds of FIFA 16 this year bring the rich football narrative to life. With nine iconic theatres of sport, Borussia Park in Munchen Gladbach and the epic El Monumental, the home to River Plate. And you'll get to play in new weather conditions this year as well. Play in the fog in Stade Velodrome in Marseille or in the unpredictable rainfall at Century Link Field. And with more than 900 new crowd chants, you'll be able to sing your way to victory. So as you can see, that's Real Madrid. They're the most played team in FIFA. And some numbers for you. Basically, the most played means that every day, more than 1.3 million matches are played with Real Madrid. So it's a star-studded club. And we obviously wanted to bring the top authenticity to the Madrid players. And we've raised them to a new level this year in FIFA 16. We're also bringing fans closer to the club. And that starts today. So I'm going to take a little pause. Uh, right now and ask all of you to do something. I'm about to give away four tickets to arguably the best match in the football calendar this year, El Clasico, obviously between Real Madrid uh, and FC Barcelona. Two tickets to people in this room and two to someone watching online uh, at home. So if you're watching online, tweet us at, at EA Sports FIFA with the hashtag FIFA16 about what you love about FIFA16 and we'll pick a winner within the next hour. Um, if you're in the, right, in the room right now, though, take your hand, reach underneath your seat, and somewhere in this room is someone with two tickets to that match. Has anybody got two tickets? I don't know where they are, so reach under. Hopefully they've not been taken. Is that you? He's got an envelope. There you go. Congratulations. Two tickets to uh, the game. So enjoy that, you lucky fella. Thanks to our new partners, Real Madrid, for helping sort us out with that one. Um, so just before I wrap things up, we've got one more thing for Germany specifically. Uh, last year, you may remember, we brought an all new level of game day authenticity to the Barclays Premier League matches, and fans loved it. Uh, so this year, uh, we're going to recreate that level of broadcast authenticity for the Bundesliga. Uh, you'll see score graphics, team sheets, player analysis, true to what you see when you're watching the games on television here in Germany and around the world. It's truly authentic. So, this year with FIFA 16, all new ways to play FIFA, innovation across the entire pitch, and a rich football narrative driven by the sights and sound of the most beautiful game in the world. Uh, so that's me done. It's been a pleasure being here, and uh, I'll leave you with something that just shows off how beautiful the new season will be. Thank you very much. Fascinating sport returns for another year of drama, intrigue, beauty and suspense. Football is back.